on the T side. Moving out pretty quickly. They got a smoke and a flashbang. One P250 there on bust up. But this looks like this actually looks like it's gonna be pretty much an all-in. Yeah, rare from VP. Just to see a full out exec coming out. Mopos. The one to defend, he already throws the counter smoke and the counter flak, but there's a player far right. Oh, but he still hits the shot on Asanji. What a flick, but he's instantly traded. He's actually been a very impressive player so far, but he had to hold that one versus five. Pretty unreasonable odds against him there. Alex has snuck in, looking to wind the bench. Finding kicker. Oh, but he's a little bit too quick. Davy G comes in with a little bit of a return at the very least. Three on three now. The bomb is down on the ground and planted. Death has got the kit picked up, so maybe he could... James, probably lucky to be alive, but now he's inside of the smoke, hiding, and they know it. Oh, no, it's complete madness in there. No one has any idea what's actually happening now. The defuse is on. Two seconds left, but it's a headshot to bring it down. Sampeas goes down and busted with a double kill. MP5 seeing a bit of action. Yakinder likes it. I'm glad. I feel like for a long time it was at least one of the iconic weapons of the, of the franchise. We complain about it, getting it back for many years, and then none of us ever used it. <laughs> <laughs> Some Valve developer had to spend a lot of time doing that, and then we're just like, nah. Yeah, they just they said that ain't it. And Sanji taking down Mopaz, but they don't know about Davy Davy G, and that is going to be a fatal overlook from Kicker. Although Jame is able to take him down. And now Yakinder with that MP5 towards the middle will look to collect a couple of kills. Maybe increase his bank a little bit. But yeah, the, M the MP5 is just... It's not really in most players' wheelhouse. They don't really love it. The MAC-10 just seems to serve a better purpose. Or, or the MP9. The run and gun capabilities of both those weapons is a little too strong to ignore. It's also the fact that it's silenced. I don't know. That's kind of cool, though. I like the, the silence part. Why can't you unsilence it? Like that—that that is odd, right? Yeah, bring bring it back to that. The that iconic is, sound. Yeah. Of the unsilenced version. Yes. I feel like that would be a strong, stronger selling point. But yeah, you're right. It it, it there are just other submachine guns that seem to fill the role even more. Yeah. But it's actually pretty accurate. The bursts on it are pretty good. Yakinder wants to use it like a rifle most of the time. I see him use it. But Sun Payas, he still has a weapon here. Immediately challenged. Wow, that timing is so unfortunate for him. And Alex wow. takes down two towards middle. That's a great setup. Death throws a flash from back triple. So they are aware that Death was over there. But Alex, he gets another frag out of nowhere. And this round is suddenly turned on its head. VP are down 2v4. But Sanji is on the mid lurk. Takes down Davi G. Tries to go for the window, but Mopaz meets him and greets him. That is a that's a classic deagle round, isn't it? Out of someone like Alex, just finding those kills. I mean, some of them were a little bit wild with the kind of the flashbang, but there's a lot of range. Those deagles could do a lot. Kick it, faking the sound of him running into the bomb site and then turning around, expecting for someone to walk up behind him. It's a cool play. Mopaz, see if uh, he's going to maybe bite, and he will. Smart play from damage onto Alex on top of it. Kick it, hoping to clutch this one. That would be, oh, that would be shocking for Movistar. If they can't pick up this round, that has got a sting. Kicker is spending the time that he needs here. 30 seconds, he's trying to make it a... Oh. He's, he's putting the pieces together, but the time works against him. 20 yeah. seconds left. He's going to go straight for it, but he's realized they're not anywhere right on top of him, so already getting a lot more out of this round than maybe you could have expected. They do have a smoke. But the problem is not all the health on that AK. One goes down, Death is on the other side with the scout, and now Kickert might be favored in this one. AK's been picked up on Death, though. And Kickert, I don't think he realizes he's already out. This should be an angle that's going to be favoring Death's Kickert, not realizing. And he gets in order to get out. And he oh, what a great opener from Alex there. Set up by that flash on top of that, and then just great co crosshair placement to take down Buster. Has some obvious upsides but also some downsides. Okay. It, it's it, with everything in life. It's deep. Yes, there's a trade-off. The models are bigger, but you can... It's all good. Fourth round. And, I mean, Movistar, they've got to be thrilled about winning that round. Got a bit close at the end, but still, that was probably not meant to be at the outset. Very 
widespread out on the map default thus far. Alex wants to make a proactive play towards middle, it looks like. I'm not sure if someone wants to flash him through this smoke as it begins to dissipate. Actually, him and Mopaz are trying to find out something towards mid. Cover things. Two smokes, actually, to slow this down. He's making a case for himself, but does he know that Jame has made it so deep already? I'm not sure, but either way, he's focusing his efforts towards the apartments. Jame has gotten so deep, takes down Sun Payas. They should know that Mopaz is around here, and they have spotted him. They have trying to just have it. It's so close. He gets it down. Oh, God, that could have been a horrible horrible mistake there for VP. They leave it up to the very last second. Death comes in with a spray on one, almost readjusting already. And Sanji, he's low on health. This could still turn out in the, not in their favorite. Sanji, when there's an absence of anything happening, that's when it feels like VP is somehow advantaged. Yeah. The, the silence is, is their friend. Well, Sanpeus has got an AWP in the rest of the pistols. Alex. Pretty good spray down there by Yikinda, able to take him down. Still looking for the kill with the AWP. He was really, I think he was really good with the AWP on on Vertigo, Sun Payas. He had some great rounds, some rounds where he single-handedly won for them. Okay, he takes down Yakinda. He's found himself in an awkward spot though. He's between the mid player and Sanji and this A hit coming about for VP. Sanji though knows how valuable his life is, not giving it up just yet. Just going to be holding at top mid while the rest of his team plants the bomb at A. Sanji might just be looking for exits now. Finds the timing on Davi G. That is just so frustrating if you're Davi. Yeah. <laughs> Been moving up that whole time. Feels like maybe he left. Nope. Once again, the silence working in favor of VP. Good to see Sanji on that kind of a play. Not giving it up too easily. Mopaz taking down Jame. That could justify hunting them a bit here if they really want it to. That's the fastest I've ever seen Jame run in a late round situation. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? And it's because he only had a P250. Didn't didn't see the value in that one. <laughs> it's gonna be another round for VP, obviously. Yeah, full liver. But either way, we'll see what Movistar have in store. Fast ladder boost for Sun Payas. We'll give them some early space. He's got the right idea. I don't know if he can see anything. It doesn't look like it. Wow. Otherwise, I think Yakinda would have been dead already. That is actually fairly creepy. Stands up, though, backs up into it, looking for the headshot. And that's nearly a kill. Need to follow it up. He has to jump out and might actually just be lucky to be alive there. Oh, and the ramp hit at the same time. But Yakinda is getting so much space. A is being split from multiple positions right now. Movistar are sorely out of position, and that is going to be it. VP taking over the bomb site. And Sanji, he, he's pressing forward against the smoke. Little does he know that there's a player right next to it. And in typical VP fashion, they have the <laughs> entire site, and yet they want to go all the way towards B. It's so amazing, isn't it? Yep, they're actually <laughs> the funny <laughs> back. Oh, my God. He must have had a heart attack, and now... It's, this is just very hard to figure out. You must be so confused in a round like this. Sometimes like you just have to, you have to know that this might happen with VV beforehand and just tell everyone, just listen, just watch the demo later. Don't try and figure it out now. Don't even think about what just happened. Right. Somehow this round was always going to be a victory for VP, but then it becomes a moral victory on top of the fact that they yeah. won it. Because it's just so, it's so painfully confusing to play against when you're on the Movistar side. You, you think that you have centered the hit, you know what's happening, and then this, this happens. Kicker's still lurking in Palace and the bomb is halfway ticked. Like, so this... unreasonable. Well, it's five to one in favor of VP. They've already won the first map and they're making a very good case for themselves. That That is really the quintessential VP round, that previous one. By the way, Maui, a lot of, a lot of people in the community seem to not like Mirage. Why are they wrong? Why are they wrong? because Mirage offers so much variety in terms of strategic options for both CTs and Ts. And it's why it's why the map probably statistically has, uh, I think we saw it in the blast loading screen, that 
it has a very even win rate for both CT and T because there's always True. options available. You can do so much as an A player. You can play back, you can play forward. There's so many things you can do in a mid round on this map. You can see how the macro picture works together. And yet there's still a lot of room for individual play to work because if you win any spot on the default on the T side, you open a l up a lot of space very quickly. Do you feel as if though, once people started throwing, there, there's a, like a, a specific combination of, of needs landing in the middle. There's obviously the window smoke, but there's... You can do it from spawn. You don't even have to take any risks to throw those. Yeah. So even though those commonly will come out, it's not necessarily saying that the round is going to play out similarly. Yeah. And, and again, as with the whole idea for meta game, right, is that it, it kind of moves over time. It's not like it just goes one way, one place, and then people just keep playing it over and over again. And especially, you know, so we're going to be moving into the... Ooh, nice shot there from San Paez. So moving into the Major, we're going to see probably even some some stuff maybe we haven't seen before. I'm sure people are thinking hard about that. Three versus five. A, a stand has been taken here by Movistar. They're tired of losing rounds in this first half. Yeah, they finally beat Yakinder in the default. Sanji trying to beat the rotation, but he got caught off as well. Now, Buster... He has to be the bailout player for VP. He's looking for something up connector. Oh, he just actually dodged that timing right there. He catches out Death Z, and he's going to actually smoke off the player towards jungle. He might have just carved out a lot of space, but Alex wants to push right in front of the smoke, and that may catch Buster off guard. Yeah, what a cool play from Alex. Not allowing him to, to deny them that information. Could have been painful if he could have hung around in there. Good catch on that one. Gabby G coming up with a kill on Cat. They yeah. still took some risks, and they all paid off. Ooh, early exchange towards middle, though. And it's one for one. Oh. So Paez taking down Sanji, who was hoping that maybe that, that battle in the middle had distracted everyone enough that they weren't paying attention. And remember, he already once before hugged that right-hand side of the bomb side and got all the way into into jungle. So maybe it makes sense that he would try and do it again and see if that weakness still exists on the bomb side. But this time, absolutely shot down. Mopaz over here with just an M4 and a smoke. No Molotov in hand. That's a bit of unfortunate. Sometimes you could need that. But he's at an, a difficult angle to check. Maybe they could flash him out of there, but that also gives away the position. And VP... A minute on the clock. Looks like they're going to be edging into it. This should be his fight. Yeah, good headshot. And now, just stay alive. Don't get found. And he knows that. He's actually playing every position, I feel like. Well, he's going to get found eventually. Oh, oh you kindart! We underestimated him once again, or I did at least. Two versus two all of a sudden. Bomb has been planted. That is tough to deal with. Bomb gets planted fairly quickly. There's a kit on the CT side. You kind up with another kill, making it a triple. Some payers now. What do you do? That AWP is so valuable. They can't rebuy it if they lose it. I, I just can't even believe it. What is that? A three versus four that they end up giving up in this one? That, that is tough to deal with. That is so gross. That is so gross. And you kinder already hunting down, but it doesn't look like you'll find Sun Payas. That is such a an incredible overperformance once they got into that B-bomb site. It, it actually looked like Death's, or Mopaz that is, played. Yeah, trying to take, split the pain up. Yeah, take a deep breath. Oh, quick boost to get up there. That's a, that's a cool trick to be able to do. But they get shut down. There's a lot of people on the other side. I kind of wonder, what? James, did he, he must have realized there are more people there. He's running with his back turned. Did he just He just stole it right? off. He just took the op away from them. He, he grabbed the, he actually went on a retrieval mission, grabs the op and just says, no, this is mine now. Oh my goodness, James. <laughs> this man is just insulting them in their faces. It's so rude. That is so rude. Oh, unbelievable. They must have even heard that and, and maybe they even hear the gun being dropped after a, after a while and they think, wait, what? What is he even doing? Only, only Jame. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, no <gasps> don't do something ridiculous. Like he he had the right idea. And that is I don't know what James is on right now, but <laughs> there's the old up on that little balcony. Yeah. Bomb has been planted. Yeah. Bomb finally goes down, but 
Even damage. He must have heard that shot behind him. He's thinking, why are they wall banging me? I didn't make any noise. I was walking the whole way. How is it even possible? Oh, and Kicker's just waiting, too. Yeah. He's even holding a great angle. Kicker, that is. Yeah. That cash register. Right, right between the cash register and the coffee cup. Whatever yeah. it is. Order up. <laughs> First when James decides to turn around. Obviously, yeah. Eight to two in favor of VP. Said zero percent win rate for Movistar on this particular map. It's it's going to be very hard to bring it back from this one. James is looking very good. Yukinda's been essentially unstoppable, and they just got a couple of opening kills in this round here. Alex has picked up the AWP, but he's smoked off, and again, saving it is probably, unfortunately, a better choice. Yeah, not a lot to do at this point. VP should be picking up their fifth. I mean, ninth. ninth I don't know. Could it be fifth in a row? No, not even. Sometimes you can There's rest. There's no saving those. that one. Yeah. Either way, they uh, they will find their ninth round, and that's going to be a pretty sore position for Movistar here. They are. Uh, they're not finding any consistent answers to what VP are doing. The, just thinking back to the rounds that they won, an incredible deagle round. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's defense is towards middle. VP will test every extremity simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah, Dick, they're ready to they're ready to bounce on that. Got to be really careful. A little bit of a fast play towards middle for Yakinda jumping through that smoke and running straight down. Alex. He must have heard that. I was going to say it almost looked like he was looking the wrong way, but he's going to be fine. They are in underpass as well. Alex hoping to use that one way. It can be set up, but I guess it's also a bit formulaic, a bit predictable. It's had it's had its glory day already, it seems like. All right. Two on the A-bomb side. St. Payas in the middle. Sanji over on the other side, just pushing through and getting the kill. But a nice return. They still have so much time, VP, and Sanji is about to find an empty bomb site in B. Sanji has not been afraid of committing in these kinds of situations, but this underpass play could be everything. This is going to come down to whether or not Jame is going to check every single corner. You can see how careful Jame is being, but Davi G, this is this is it. This is the engagement of the round, and Jame takes him down. VP have an open B bomb site right now. Jame running down to pick up a nade? Perhaps? I, I'm not even sure what he collected, but either way, he will eventually make his way towards the B site. Sanji has secured all of this area. Maybe he's developed some form of kleptomania and he's just stealing random things <laughs> off the corpses now. He tried getting That's a kit? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't even matter if there's a point to it. He's just stealing just for the sake of it. Sanji, Molotov back. Ooh, actually, that was Jim. I thought that was a retreating AK shot for a minute, but not the case. Sanpeus. Hey, as much as you would want the hero one versus two fight, statistically not going to be favoring him at all. You see the 98 to 2 percent, and that could just be rounded up to 100 at this point. Yeah, he is out of here. And Sanji once again just tests the B bomb site. He, he's so uh, with just a, a couple of more things going their way. That one knife, perhaps. Yeah, that one knife. Okay, this is a way to get involved, though. Sun Payas makes the cat jump. Some nice movement there, but he misses the shot. Now, Buster backs on up, but Yakinder, I mean, as soon as Buster backs on up, Yakinder moves on forward. It doesn't even matter what he sees. He is not perturbed. Yakinder makes his way up. He joins up with Sanji at the bottom of the window. Davi G, he's right there. He might be able to intercept this boost, but he turns away at an inopportune time. But now he finds Yakinder. Yeah, comes back, and this time will be a little bit better. Great grenade on top of Sanji as well. The Molotov what? burning him all the way down from 100. Auto shotgun in place. This should be a favorable fight here. Kicker doesn't look like he has any idea. And he's going to be gone along with Buster. So what a confusing round here. But it feels like Movistar should be able to control this. Hold it down. Oh, no. Why? Oh. Two on three is instantly way more winnable. 45 seconds is a problem. James has got the bomb in T spawn. So Sanji and James, if they want to work together, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to sort of run and actually find each other here. Okay. No pass in the middle. Okay, James still weighing his options. It, it looks like he's opting for the save. Really? I mean, he, he could run towards A, and if he if he does, there's only one player there. 
Alex is the only remaining player. He's at Sandwich, which is usually good for one. This is an excellent one and done for Alex to be in. It's just whether or not Jaim will clear the angle out. It has to be just a hard clear because there's no time left otherwise. Yep, that is going to be it. Sanji may be able to take him down, but he doesn't have time for the plant on top of that. Or no, no, there's just not enough time. Unfortunately, and a little bit weird at the end, but either way, I mean, that, that's typical for VP. They're, they're always going to make a round a little weird. And Kinder, once again, he has just been flying at middle. He, he serious. This guy respects nobody on Movistar right now. He has not slowed down his approach whatsoever. And why should he? Takes down Davi G once again. He has just been absolutely dominant at finding map control. And he's looking for more. Oh, he gets dinked, but only for 17 damage. Yeah, not that much. Pretty good nade in return. Mopaz trying to see if he could also play a little bit aggressive in the middle. And actually, they get your Kindar and Death's also taking down Kicker. So that's a that's a very good return for that opening kill. Sanji almost with the timing. Jane will pick one up there. And realizing Death is still going to be nearby. It's another two on three for Buster and Jane this time. Oh, that might be an opportunity. Oh, the quick switch. It's a classic. Yeah, right then and there. Buster has a one-on-one -on -one against Deathzo at the bottom of the ramp. And Deaths makes his way towards default. It's a very safe position, and he swings out for the fight. Jame takes down Deaths. The trade is not quite there. Alex flubs that just enough that Jame now has an opportunity. But there is a flank coming from spawn. Mopaz is making his way through the palace. And with 30 seconds, there's no great answer for Jame. He can, he can hold this op into the upcoming round. And it does seem like he's waiting for the flank, but it's not coming. Mopaz is holding his own towards Palace. He's giving them the maximum amount of time to make a mistake, basically. Now, it doesn't look like they're going to give him any, but in another world, I mean, if they get just a little bit aggressive, if Mopaz is thinking, I'm going to come, I'm just going to run in and shoot him in the back, maybe it could have been. Bomb will be planted, but not going to be the round, obviously. So a fourth one on the board for, for Movistar. I mean, honestly, just good to see that they they haven't folded and, and given up on this first half yet, even if it's been very, very rough. It's so interesting the loading like right into them. It's it's just hard to deal with. It's, it's almost like two teams are playing at the same time when you watch VP. Jame though joins the mid fight, finds the trade onto Alex, and Kicker. He, he finds a timing. No, Sun Payas is holding for that palace push. And now Sanji, surely he tries. Yep, there we go. Mopaz taken down. And now Sanji once again has opened up this B bomb site. He's yet to recognize that the bomb site is clear, but Yakinder's making his way back towards A simultaneously. Death falls on his aggressive push. Caught in that same position like last time. James caught him in the previous round. And James holding the middle. If Dabby G can't come up with a very good defense, which so far so good. Actually, Yakinder's going to fall back. Wow. What this is. <laughs> Some of these rounds, Maui, are out of control. There's a lot of moving pieces. There is a lot going on. But finally, Jame and Yukinder have joined arms. Damn it, gee, that's, that is perfect. Jame not realized. All right, that's, that's a first date with Maui. <laughs> Check out my Counter-Strike skins. Yes, I support your astrology addiction. All right, well... I have I've never heard of that before, but I I will take your word for it. I'll I'll trust you on that one. Kicker crouching in by the ticket booth and uh, handing out some headshots. Gonna be pretty good taking down Alex. Now they're gonna rush him down. He's got some backup, but it's gonna be too late. They, I think they were setting up needs for him to maybe do something. He didn't need teammates. He need he needed teammates. Yes. Close. Sounds similar. Doesn't have the same effect. Buster is on a flank. James is in the middle, and Yakinder and Sanji trying to retake from CT spawn. The bomb is down really quick here, and Movie Star four on four in the after plant could be real good. Death is almost walking to the Buster, looking at his P250. Oh. Maybe should have been shooting it instead. Four versus three now. Smoke on top of the bomb for a potential defuse. Sanji checking the back line. There's a knife. He's just got his knife out inside of it, and he's stabbing him right in the face. Sunpei is coming in with a kill, and it's going to be the four VP. Okay, quick Molotov, quick smokes. Mopaz, again, he was very aggressive on Vertigo as well. And he had the skills to back up that aggression. It actually was really impressive to see. So 
Diaz doesn't catch anyone at that corner, but the, his willingness to do that kind of play, I I love that kind of Counter Strike. I think it's really fun to see. For people that aren't that familiar with Movistar, Mopaz is a guy that they really have depended on for a long portion of this roster's history. He is consistently coming up with the goods on some of his aggressive lurks, and he honestly they, they probably lack some strategy because of how effective he was but now they put it together as a team and you can see that has elevated them to be greater than some of their parts but buster nice shot onto deaths and oh this is a great setup for vp to receive them it is they even have some he's actually they could they could blow up damage e and it's going to be an a or sorry an h a shot instead from the deagle Two of them are low enough that the scout could do a fair bit of damage. Buster's going to be found. That is very important. The bomb is making its way to the other side. And Jane, you see, he, he's looking like he's maybe thinking about it. This could... All right. They're going back to middle. They could actually mess up this round. Jane is also kind of reading it in a very, very impressive fashion. He's in a very good spot for this particular round. 18 seconds on the clock, walking up the middle. And some payers goes down. That's the bomb on the ground. A headshot on Alex as well. He is down low. The bomb has been picked up, though. And the smoke will cover it. Man, that is scary. Jame, is he coming running through? He's picked up an AK on the other side. The bomb not getting planted, but the kill. Forward into the bomb side. Now, if he gets stuck on the stairs instead, that smoke is going to be a nightmare for, uh, for Mopaz at the end. Wow. Well, that makes it 10 to 7, and it's suddenly a very interesting game again. Money on the side of the T's. Man, 10 kills coming out. This is working so well. Yeah, this is this is going to be a, a round victory for, for Movie Star. They're in control of this situation. It is still baffling how close that previous round went. Wow. All right, James getting aggressive early though. Into the palace. We'll secure that position. Deaths. A MAC-10, not the not the optimal weapon for that kind of fight. But will he give up his life? He's getting close. James presses on forward. The molly goes a little too deep. It actually lands on the top of balcony. Now, Kicker, he's actually found this play in connector. And when we start, they have to pause. Grenade goes to the other side of where they were. Probably a little bit fortunate. James is still holding it up there, but Death has fallen really far back. Fight breaks out towards the window. You end up feeling very... That's a good timing on that smoke. He's uncomfortable in that position. Flashes and runs. Alex couldn't get the jump up either to chase him down. James is pushed really far forward, so he's going to start to get a bit of a read, feeling like there's probably not going to be a straight A execute happening. And they're gravitating a bunch of people over to the B bomb side as a result. This is a great rotation for VP already. The smoke is there at the foot of Mopaz. Yeah. And we see that it slows down these players. And okay, that's a lot of space that's being gained by deaths right now. James takes him down, and that should force the hand of Movistar into the stack. Yeah, but Sanji has the models off as well. At 30 seconds, they're just they're pushed out into it. Mopaz, for all of the skill that he brings into this game, that is, he was being segmented off from his teammates and. Some payers goes down. Yukinda catching him in the underpass. Alex doesn't really matter now. Try and get some more kills. The information, and they make the perfect rotation off of it. And once again, this happens. First gun round for them. Puts a big dent in the economy of Movistar. So they're going to have to... They're really going to have to win this round a lot. Bomb plant at a minimum, but preferably just win it outright. Big lean towards the A side early on. And that could pay off, given the the minimap look here for the T's. Okay, this is a little bit of a mid-fake right now. They've dropped a couple of smokes to Davi G. He can now smoke, I think, deep jungle, window, and top con. He's still faking it. The A play's coming. Yes, it is. Good kill, though, for Jame on the follow-up. And now they're being slowed down. Mopas, third man in the bomb site, but he didn't check that corner. Buster instead will take him down. It's now Alex. Davi G, I mean, the fact that he's in the middle is not going to be a surprise to them. They definitely know that from all the nades that were tossed from in there. Still able to find a kill on your kinder. That's a bit of a surprise. Maybe they could bring it back. Alex, is he going to help out in this scenario? Trying to make his way out, but it'll be too late. Sanji takes down his teammate. And Alex, he can't check everything. Leans up the rest. 
I'm sure we'll have it. Third players towards middle on Movistar's side. VP focused their defense towards A, and that, that's just where Movistar came out. Kick it back here. Sees a bunch of players. No, probably they don't have a lot of armor. That knee did, what, 76 damage. Jane, was that a two for one shot? Or were they just really quick? You cannot clean the side for the Movistar Riders. All right, your Kinda is just straight in there. That smoke covered nothing at all, did it? Wow. wow. Get out. Jame. Great position. One of my favorite positions on Mirage, this one. You shoot people, they fall back into the couch. Yeah. It's Take perfect. a seat. Yeah, exactly. And he's by himself. So he does have to win this fight. Or the B bomb site is compromised. Yeah, that's it. He's really deep in there. Oh, 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 oh what a flick. That EG, I'm not even sure he's landing in the couch at that moment. He just flew by, didn't he? Two versus four. Son Peas down on the low ground of the bomb site. And he's got the right idea. Oh, that needed to be a kill. He actually had such a good read on that one, but weird movement coming in there, and he couldn't quite find it. That's just going to be good. He just catches one of them anyway. Three Galils, one UMP, one Scout. Sign of the times for Movistar at the moment. They can't afford to wait any longer, though, if they want to make the comeback here. It'll be a very, very hard comeback to follow through on, but, yeah, they might as well start now. Eat Molotov back there. And Davy G going to be forced out of that top mid position. Ooh. That looks scary. Yeah. Close. Good nade. Oh, no. More nades. They don't realize Buster is here either. It actually looked like VP were about to be completely out of position there, but somehow they win all the fights anyway. They just recover every single micro situation. And now Movistar, they're, they're down a couple of men. They, they're they working with an ump. It, it, it's looking dire for them, especially given the fact that Kicker is finding all of this information. It is a very one-dimensional approach for Movistar in this one. And James is going to peek right into him. Are we sensing a collateral? Oh, it was right there, but... It's not far off, is it? He makes that little jump to look over. It's just all working out really well. And he's not missing many shots at the moment either. The UMP will at least get a kill. Death will get that one. James is going to get caught off guard, but... Mopaz, one versus three. If they, they don't actually have to face him. Just... They're just getting completely wrecked in the middle. It's almost like Movistar haven't even caught up to the fact that that mid fight is not one that they're able to win at the moment. Even when Jane isn't there to get those kills, it's it's just Yakinda shows up and is just destroying absolutely everyone. Another double kill for him, a one versus five for Alex, and he can't.